Africa is a region with a rich tapestry of cultures, languages, and traditions. A place where bustling markets meet breathtaking landscapes and vibrant communities come together. But behind the scenes, there's a story that's been unfolding for decades, one that involves a significant player on the global stage, France. Recent cases of coups in West Africa have put a spotlight on the simmering discontent in some African countries towards their former colonial masters. So, why are some African nations eyeing the exit sign for France? Hold on, my fellow viewers, because we're about to embark on a journey filled with historical twists, political intrigue, and cultural clashes. So, fasten your seatbelts, and let's dive in. Historical Background and Contemporary Issues In the 19th century, France, like many other European countries, was eager to expand its empire, and it set its sights on Africa. The era of colonialism saw African nations stripped of their sovereignty as European powers carved up the continent like a giant geopolitical pie. And yes, France had a pretty big slice. Furthermore, French colonial rule wasn't all baguettes and berets, it was marked by exploitation, forced labor, and cultural suppression. African resources were siphoned off to fuel France's growing economy, while the local population bore the brunt of the burden. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and the winds of change were blowing. African countries, one by one, began to shake off the chains of colonialism through a process known as decolonization. They declared their independence, and the flags of newly liberated nations began to fly high. But the legacy of colonialism didn't just vanish into thin air. France, like other former colonial powers, maintained strong economic, political, and cultural ties with its former colonies. But while the colonial era may be over, the echoes of that history still reverberate in the relationship between some African countries and France. So, what's got some African nations feeling a bit frosty towards France? The simple answer is continuous exploitation, meddling in internal factors, and neocolonialism. For instance, French companies hold a significant share in industries like mining and telecommunications, leading to accusations of economic neocolonialism. Also, France's currency, the CFA franc, used by 14 African nations, has sparked controversy, with critics arguing that this monetary system, with its ties to the French treasury, limits these countries' economic autonomy and hinders their development. Besides, some African countries feel that France's military presence on the continent and its involvement in regional conflicts are forms of neocolonialism, as they believe it infringes on their sovereignty and self-determination. And then there's the thorny issue of perceived interference in domestic affairs, with accusations that have been made that France sometimes supports or intervenes in African politics, even during elections. Case Studies and Voices from Africa Let's kick things off with some case studies, real examples that shed light on why anti-French sentiments are heating up in some African nations. The first stop was Côte d'Ivoire, where the year 2002 marked a turning point. Political instability led to a rebellion, which divided the country. France's involvement was controversial, with some seeing it as favoring one side. That left a sour taste in the mouths of many Ivorians, fueling anti-French sentiment. Next, let's head to Mali. In 2013, Mali faced a crisis as Islamist militants threatened stability. France intervened militarily to support the government. While some saw this as a necessary move, others in Mali questioned the motives. They wondered if it was more about safeguarding French interests in the region. And then there is Burkina Faso, a nation grappling with terrorism. France has a military presence there, too. But as attacks continue, some Burkinabis question whether the French military is really helping or inadvertently attracting more violence. Economic Factors Economic factors play a big role in why some African countries might want France out, so let's unpack this together. Just imagine the fact that African countries are sitting on a gold mine, and the world knows it. So you'd expect Africa to strike it rich, right? Well, for some African countries, it's not that simple. Take Burkina Faso, for instance. They're a gold hotspot, but their gold is often sold at peanut prices compared to the global market. 
So, while Burkina Faso's gold mines are booming, the lion's share of the profits doesn't stay in the country. Now, let's talk about Niger, which is home to valuable uranium deposits. France relies on Niger for a significant chunk of its nuclear power needs, and thus Niger's uranium industry is vital to France, but some argue that the deals are lopsided, with Niger not getting its fair share. So, you see, the economic dynamics can be pretty unbalanced. Political factors. Now, it's not unusual for countries to have international friends, but when that friend starts meddling in your domestic affairs, it can get tricky. Take Gabon, for instance. It had a long political history with France, but in 2016, when post-election protests erupted, France was seen by some as favoring the incumbent president. This incident raised eyebrows and left many questioning whether France was more interested in protecting its interests than respecting Gabon's democracy. Then there's the case of the Central African Republic, where in 2013, France intervened militarily to stop violence and protect civilians. While this move was welcomed by some, others questioned whether France was acting as a policeman in its former colony, stoking accusations of neocolonialism. Therefore, these political maneuvers have left some African countries feeling like they're not entirely in the driver's seat of their destiny. However, France argues that it's acting in line with its principles and international law. They say they're not forcing anyone's hand but simply helping out when needed. Social and Cultural Factors French culture influences former African colonies' populations' hearts and minds through the French language, movies, and music. Furthermore, French is often the language of education and government, and that can have a profound impact on how people perceive their own culture. Take Senegal, for instance. It's a country with a rich cultural heritage, but French is the official language, and this linguistic dominance has led to cultural erasure, for example, through the influence of French media such as French movies, music, and fashion, which are widely consumed across the country. Furthermore, while cultural exchange is fantastic, some say it can lead to a preference for French culture over homegrown creativity. So, it's a complex web of influences where culture, language, and education intertwine, shaping perceptions of France in African societies. International Relations France has historical ties and interests in Africa dating back to colonial times. But in today's world, it's not just about nostalgia, it's about geopolitics, and thus France wants to maintain its global influence, and its relationships in Africa play a part in that game. But it's not all one-sided, as African nations are also savvy players on this international stage. They're not just asking France to leave because they're tired of hosting guests, they want a seat at the table, too. Therefore, they're forging alliances with other global powers, like China, the US, and Russia, to diversify their international relationships. Furthermore, the France-Africa relationship isn't just about these two, it's part of a broader global power dance. It's a web of interests, diplomacy, and strategy that can sometimes make things quite complicated. And as Africa's influence on the world stage grows, it's reshaping the dynamics of this dance, making it more complex and fascinating. Consequences and Potential Solutions All right, let's start with the fallout from strained relations between African countries and France. First up, diplomatic tensions are on the rise between the two countries, and this has affected cooperation on regional and international issues. Besides, the tensions are bringing up trade implications between Africa and France, which has long been an economic partner, and thus trade will take a big hit. And then there's regional stability, which may be affected by continuing relations deteriorating, and this may create a power vacuum that can lead to instability. This instability has sometimes resulted in coups in the western and central regions, which have disrupted governance and had devastating consequences for the affected countries. Conclusion the intricate tapestry of why some African countries have strained relations with France and why they're expressing their grievances in various ways, including coups, is the result of a complex web of history, politics, economics, culture, and international relations. Notably, it's important to remember that this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation, as each African country has its own unique story, and their perspectives on France vary. 
we should always strive to understand these complexities and nuances. Our goal is not to promote any one perspective but to shed light on the many facets of this intricate issue. We believe that informed discussions can lead to better solutions and stronger relationships. Thank you so much for joining us. If you found this video enlightening, we'd appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel.